Hello YouTube. Um, the other week I purchased uh, this uh, 16 amp 180 watt uh, balance charger uh, by SkyRC, the RS16, uh, from uh, a company in London. And uh, I thought, brilliant, I need something that can provide a lot of power to charge up my 36 amp hour battery pack off of the mains without using a BMS. So I bought it and it's really nice. You got um, input there, um, I'm not sure what plug that is, XC60 maybe. Uh, your balance leads, uh, output uh, for charging things, uh, nice USB port for updating software and uh, monitoring on the PC. And it's fan assisted, well not fan assisted, fan called. Smart fan, smart fan, it's smart. I'm not sure how a fan can be smart, but yeah. Um, so I was happy with that, and it's really good. Um, unfortunately, I haven't got a good enough 12 volt power supply here, or wherever I'm charging this, to, to actually use it to the, its, its uh, full capability. But it is a two part kit, and uh, there is a picture. Uh, was it? There's a picture. There's a base uh, which can supply 17 amps at 14 volts or 13.8. So I had to purchase one. So I did have a video ready to go up on this, but obviously I did not have enough um, power to use it to the best of its ability. So I can use that on its own when we are just uh, taking it out of a battery bank, say at my parents' house, uh, to charge it up. And this I can use uh, anywhere where there's a plug. So I think before we get onto uh, that, I'm going to show you what leads come with the other thing. It comes with this nice breakout board for all the different types of balance leads uh, two, three, four, five, and six cell. And I have no idea what half of these plugs are. And the lead, unfortunately, you have to use this lead whatever you do. So unless I can find one that's different, but that's not priority, so I have to plug that in, whatever I do. Um, you get a set of banana leads with nothing on the end. Uh, so I guess you can put your like, Dean connectors or whatever you want on there. You get the XC60 possibly plug with two banana plugs, so uh, you plug it on the input, and then you have to supply 12 volts to the banana plugs. Finally, you get uh, a two set of banana plug to banana plug with this. Um, I'm not sure what that is, it's a small one, small banana plug. And uh, that must be a temperature sensor, I guess. It looks about right, it's close by. Um, uh, just a warning telling you to connect uh, this to the charger first and the battery last. Oh, yeah, well, common sense. Um, yes, so that's that one. So the e-fuel, they call it, charger, is just as well built. Uh, DC output on the same connector. It's got a USB supply for charging phones and tablets and cameras, it says on the box. Again, smart fan. Power in, on switch. Uh, you've got nine LEDs telling you how much power you're drawing out of this from minimum up to maximum, which is good. And output is on the top. And what's really interesting about these two items is how they join together. So we're going to run through the leads that come with the e-fuel station for the... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Is uh, another connector, output, to plug, which might actually fit in the um, IMAX. Um, so we'll have to try that one day. It looks, certainly looks bigger than a 2.1 by 5.5 jack. It may well be a 2.5. Um, you get your power supply lead, mains, and you get these things. Dual banana plugs, which is something that I haven't seen before. And that's where they join together. It has this little plug underneath, and that comes out like that. And the output goes into that input. 
Now I deliberately didn't tell you about that because it just made it more of a surprise, I think. So let's get these out, shall we? And one in the negative. Oh, phone. One in the positive. Brilliant. It's quite nifty, really. This is, I think, aimed at people that do a lot of um, RC racing. Because um, there is another station that oh, click, fits on top that is made for warming tyres. So, that's uh, something to see later. So, I'm going to plug this all together and bring up my um, 36 amp hour lithium ion uh, pack and uh, see if we can set it on the charge. Right, so it's all intents and purposes is all plugged in. Uh, we are going to have one slight problem, however, and that is the screen is very hard for the camera to read. Um, so I'm going to have to just adjust that. It's a shame you can't turn the uh, backlight off. Uh, that do. Got everything in shot. So we are a Life battery, LIFE PO4. So yeah. We want life charge. Uh, let's put it up to 10 amp because that's twice what the that's twice what the um, uh, IMAX can do. And how do we start it? No, guess that way. Uh, so it's pretty much the same menu system, except we've got to get used to up and down. And uh, there it goes. It's just going to have a little think. 0.1 amp. And uh, I have noticed it does climb very slowly at first. And there it goes, climbing away. Two bars on the uh, on the e fuel charger, and it probably won't reach that ten amp because this battery pack is still quite charged. But we'll see how it goes. Five bars, almost five bars, five bars, there we go. Um, I'm going to see if I can find the um, the cell measurements. Um, so the cells mm, top out at 3.6. Uh, we'll see if it goes back to um, the other screen once it's stood there for a few seconds. Uh, it doesn't appear to, so let's press down. Oh, down takes it to a menu, 14.4. Uh, it never reaches that anyway. Power in is 13.6 volts. That's, that's good to know that you can measure the input voltage. Um, internal temperature 26, external. Oh, no, no sensor on that. Cut off is 80 degrees. Safety timer is 120 minutes. Capacity cut off is 5 thousand milliamps but I've switched that off already and voltage why can't I get back to the other screen ah oh, there we go left so it is charging at 10 amp which is uh, good and it's, it's dropping dropping down now oh, okay I'm gonna prove wrong because it's probably gonna drop off pretty quickly now because I uh, say so this battery pack is fairly well charged 
So yes, I am happy with this. I mean, not even the inputs dropping down. Um, yeah, so this means that I can charge this uh, on grid and uh, with with the uh, the e fuel power supply and off grid. Hopefully, from the battery bank. I know it's not the the, the most efficient way to do things, but not being able to bring my solar panels over here just yet, and I've been here four months, is quite frustrating. And uh, if I can charge this up and have 400 watts of usable power here, uh, and just charge it up during the day, then it's uh, it's looking good. And uh, if I take this on site, uh, I can charge it uh, sneakily. Uh, places I work, I know not really morally right or correct, but yeah, it's not bad. You can see it's put in almost 500 milliamps already. We probably can't see it now because I've zoomed out. Ooh, at 463, which is not bad. And uh, also, it means that I now have two IMAX P6 chargers, and this, uh, I guess, I can tap off of this. Um, using the output port and I could use both of my IMAX B6 chargers off of this as well. Um, and if I can do that I can charge three sets of lithium batteries at once which is um, good because I've got lots of 18650s in the laptop batteries that I have not processed yet. Um, you know, they're probably not much good anymore, they've been up to a year. So yeah, I'm happy. Um, this is the Sky RC RS16 amp or well, 16 must be 16 amp, and that is the e fuel um, 17 uh, e fuel switching DC power supply 17 amp. Yeah, so that's, that's not happy with it. Uh, certainly looks well built, um, but I suppose time will tell. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe, comment, and rate, and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers.